Uh, I was having a bad day earlier. Let me ask you a question. Is it a bad sign when you wake up in the morning contemplating suicide and your horoscope tells you your new idea is solid? Is that? I had a bad birthday, I turned 32. It's not that that's old, it's just that age you know you're officially a grown-up, right? Yeah. You know you're officially an adult when people your age are having children and suddenly it's good news. Like... <laughs> your mom tells you your cousin's pregnant but she's not whispering anymore, that's how... <laughs> I know. And I like kids, I just don't like how people my age, they give their kids last names for first names. Yeah. My cousin, she had three kids, she named them McKenna, Hunter, and Finley. Yeah, it's like, those aren't babies. That's a law firm. That's... A lot of names are weird if you think about it though. I was flirting with this woman once, I asked her what her name was, she said her name was Misty, and yeah, I asked her if that was her real name. She, she gets all defensive. She's like, it's my God-given name. I'm like, yeah, because Misty has such a biblical ring to it. <laughs> yeah, we all remember Misty from the Book of Bubba, you know, when uh, I was... Where, where Jesus turned water into bush light. And... <laughs> had one Lunchable, it was enough for everybody. It was enough. <laughs> yeah. And you can't get offended if you didn't get it, so I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I don't have any kids of my own, I'm not married. I was just in a wedding. I don't like weddings, we make too big of a deal out of them. I was at that store, Yankee Candle, the one where they sell scented candles, like clean cotton and autumn breeze. They, they had one there called Wedding Day. It's like, if you wanna smell a wedding day, yeah, don't buy a candle. Yeah, light 25 grand on fire. Uh, then watch a groomsman throw up on it. That's... <laughs> smells like most of the wedding days I've been a part of. I don't know. Maybe I'm just bitter though, because I'm not married. I feel like I'm married though, I'll tell you why. I have a dog. It's a beagle. Yeah. Yeah. Has those sad eyes, so. So even though I don't have a wife, um, I do live with somebody who always looks at me like they're disappointed. <laughs> but never tells me why. Yeah. And we don't sleep together anymore. You know, it's just, some of these are just jokes. <laughs> I've never been to Yankee Candle. <laughs> Last year for my birthday, my dad, he bought me a gift card from Dollar Tree. <laughs> it's like, happy birthday, pick out 20 pieces of junk from the dollar store. Like what? I don't know, a battery with a two-minute lifespan. <laughs> Maybe a 2007 calendar. You can s <laughs> stock up on off-brand cereal like, like Fruit Hoops or <laughs> uh, Frosted Fakes. Maybe. 
Go in the toy section, get some power strangers for the kids. Yeah. And they're thrilled, you know, they're like, the Brown Ranger, I never heard of him. Your daughter's like, yeah, who the hell is Laura the Explorer exactly anyway? Like, shut up, Finley. I like, the, I like the dollar store. I shop there. I shop at Kmart. You have one of those around here? It's like Target with VD. It's... I read recently because the economy, Kmart was in danger of going out of business. That, that blew me away because if you've been inside of Kmart, looks like they went out of business 15 freaking years ago. There's nobody... Nobody in there, nobody works there. All they have is old crap, just half-eaten bags of Cheetos with clips on them. Movies like Rambo 2 on VHS. I don't even, their, their slogan should be Kmart. We've given up as much as the people who shop here. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't feel like a shopper inside of a Kmart. I feel like an archeologist, like exploring ruins. Just, wow. <laughs> it's a box of crystal Pepsi. Because none of those things are around anymore, you know, that's why. I'm glad you guys are a good crowd. Sometimes crowds aren't into you. That hurts your feelings. So you want to make people laugh, sometimes somebody will just be quietly staring at you with like their arms folded, just looking all confused and disgusted at the same time. That's a, it's a weird look. You see somebody look at you like that, you feel like they're looking at you like you're like a pallbearer with an erection, just... Hey, honey, looks like somebody's in the will. I get that look in my day-to-day -day life. I'm kind of creepy looking. Not that I'm not a bad-looking guy. I just have dark circles around my eyes. I'm extremely pale, so I look like a good-looking guy. Just a good-looking guy who died two hours ago. And that's... I like when people laugh, even though it hurts, because you're... Yeah, you do. Yeah, you, good bone structure. You need more sun. Take a walk around like this in my day-to-day -day life. I got to stay at this very nice hotel. It was part of a family water park resort. And when I checked in, the lady at the front desk asked me if I wanted a free pass so I could get in the park, no cover. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds awesome. Because I forgot I'm a, not a nine-year-old boy. Uh, I'm 32. I'm by myself at a family water park resort. That's... It's a wonderful afternoon of having everyone look at you like a suspected pedophile. Just like, why don't I just walk into Chuck E. Cheese wearing nothing but cake frosting and, and a thong made out of skee-ball tickets? Why? Just put on a glove, moonwalk into a windowless van. I saw a fat guy today because uh, I live in America and I was outside with my eyes open. Uh, yeah. He had a WWJD bracelet on. It was like, what would Jesus do? I'm like, I don't know, crunches? That's, I have a healthy piece of fish, share it with everybody, even Misty. That's my time, all right, see ya. Thank you.